Hi, my name is Jasmine and welcome to the Perspire Sauna Studio session we're going to do today. We'll be focusing on stretching from head to toe. While you're in here, you're just going to want to make sure that we're careful of our surroundings, not to hit anything, and we'll be good to go. So, here we go. The first thing we're going to do is focus on roll down. We're going to do spinal articulation where we drop our chin to our chest and just allow yourself to roll down towards the floor, bringing your face towards your body and your chest towards your thighs. Once you're down here, just allow yourself to hang. No tension in the head, neck, or shoulders. Take an inhale when you're down here and exhale, start to stack your spine, rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Inhale nice and tall. And one more time, exhale, chin to chest, roll on down one vertebrae at a time, notch by notch by notch by notch. Bringing your chest towards your thighs, let yourself hang and just feel a stretch here. Inhale when you're down and exhale, roll on up one vertebrae at a time. From here, sitting up really nice and tall, we'll go into shoulder shrugs. Lift the shoulders up and allow the shoulders to come down, really thinking about having a nice long neck. And we go again, shoulders up and down. Remembering to breathe. Inhale, take them up and exhale, shoulders down. Thinking about the top of your head growing longer and taller up to the sky. A couple more. Inhale and exhale. Last one. Moving on to a torso stretch. We'll interlace our fingers. Reach your arms up to the sky. Nice and long, really feeling your body extending up. And then as you take your arms down, bring the heels of the hands to the sides of the room, stretching, stretching like you're trying to touch all ends of the room, but don't actually touch them. And one more time, reaching up and out, nice and long, extending your spine up and your arms reaching long and out. Let's go two more times. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach open. Last time. And inhale, up. And exhale, reach long and out. Moving on to our next stretch. I'm going to reach my right arm up to the sky, reaching it nice and long. Take a hold of the opposite side of your head and just tilt your head towards the arm that is up. Feeling your opposite shoulder reaching down. Feeling a nice stretch through the neck. And coming on up and reach it over again. Stretch, exhaling on that. And coming up two more times. Last time, stretching over. This time, let's hold a little bit longer. Feeling the shoulder reach down. The neck goes up and over to the side. Coming on up, taking that arm down, switching sides. Reach your arm up, grab a hold of the opposite side of your head gently, and tilt to the side. Feeling an opposing stretch down through the shoulder. Picking it up and exhale over, stretch. And I'm reaching my fingers of the arm that's down towards the floor so that my opposite shoulder doesn't hike up. And pick it up and exhale over. And up last time, let's hold a little bit longer. Exhale over and really feel the length in the neck. Coming on up, moving on, we'll go ahead and interlace our fingers and take them behind our head. What we're gonna do here is continuing with the neck stretch, but adding in a little bit of forward flexion. I'm gonna take my chin to my chest, rounding my upper back forward, and then sit up really nice and tall. We go into extension. I take my chest up and out to the sky, 
never letting the head just hang off of the neck. You're feeling a nice chest expansion up and over an imaginary arc and coming on up. And we'll go exhale, let your chin come towards your chest, rounding your upper back forward. And coming up nice and tall, chest expansion. Think about your collarbones showing off to the wall in front of you and then take them up to the sky, feeling the extension back and coming on up nice and tall. Taking your arms down to your sides, shake anything out that you need to. And next we're gonna go into a cat-cow exercise. Typically we do this kneeling, but today we're gonna to do it seated. Taking my arms out to the side, I'm gonna sweep my arms forward, careful of the wall in front of me. Scooping my belly in towards my spine, I round forward. So now the rounding is happening right behind my waistline. And then I open it on up, careful of the wall behind me. I extend back into a cow stretch, up and back. And taking it on center one more time. Exhale, scoop through the abdominals, rounding on forward, stretching. And opening up to the side, take it up and back. Feeling that mid-back extension and a big stretch through the front of the body. Last and final time, round forward, scoop that belly back, navel to spine, allow your head to come towards your legs. Rounding that mid-back, open it on up and take it open to the back. Chest goes forward, arms go back. Find that extension in your back and up and over feeling. And then find your center and take a moment to breathe. Next, we're gonna take our torso stretch once again. So I interlace my fingers. I reach my arms up to the sky, just like we did earlier. And I feel that upward stretch, reaching, 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 reaching. And take those arms out to the sides. And again, interlace those fingers, reach up, 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 up to the sky. And shoulders glide down as your arms reach long and out. Fantastic. So next we'll go ahead and focus on a tricep stretch. We'll reach the right arm up to the sky, bend at the elbow, grab a hold of that elbow with your opposite hand and give it a gentle pull. If you wanna allow your chin to come towards the chest to help facilitate a deeper pull, you're absolutely welcome to do that. And then carefully release out of the stretch, switching sides. Left arm reaches up. Let's bend at the elbow. Take the opposite hand. Gently grab a hold of that elbow and give it a pull. And then if you'd like to bring your chin towards your chest for a deeper stretch in that tricep, you're more than welcome to do that. And remembering to breathe through your stretch. And we'll go one more time each side, reaching the opposite arm up, bend at the elbow, hold on to that elbow, and stretch. <laughs> Coming out of it, and to the other side, reaching your left arm up, bend at the elbow, and grab a hold of it. Give it a nice pull back. And letting the head come towards the chest. Breathing through your stretch. Nicely come out of that. Interlace your fingers, returning to that torso stretch. Reaching your arms long and up to the sky. And then reaching the heels of the hands to the sides of the room. Extending long and out, growing taller. And last and final time, interlace those fingers, reach up and out long, stretching, lifting, lengthening through the torso. Very good. Moving on to this next stretch, I like to call it the humpback prevention stretch. We're going to take our arms right in front of us at two 90 degree angles. My palms are facing me. Then I'm going to go ahead and take them out to the sides, turn the palms to face away from me and I'm gliding my shoulder blades together and down my back, 
feeling a nice open chest stretch. And then I take my arms right in front of me again. Inhale and exhale to open. So sometimes you might hear the phrase squeeze the shoulder blades together, but I really want you to think about those shoulder blades gliding together and down. So you feel that glide without a pinch. Yeah, opening up. And two more times, inhale to close, and exhale to open. And close, and open. Gliding the shoulder blades down and back, elbows coming towards each other in the back. Last and final time, and opening it up. And bringing it forward and relaxing down. The next thing we're gonna do is a side bend stretch. So just relaxing your left arm by your side, reach the right arm up to the sky, reach up and over an imaginary arc, and we'll side bend, being aware that the opposite booty cheek or the right booty cheek does not lift as you're stretching to the left. Come on up, and we go to the other side. Left arm reaches up, my left glute is gonna stay down as I reach up and over to the right. Breathing in your stretch. Coming up and down. Let's go again. Reach the right arm up. Up and over to the left we go. My left arm is reaching down towards the floor as my right arm is reaching up and over. Breathing through your stretch. Other side. And exhale up and over. Making sure the shoulder doesn't get hiked up. Coming on up. Very nice. The next thing we'll do is a seated twist. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is take my right hand to the outside of my left thigh. And then I'm going to take my left hand behind me. Be careful of what's behind you. And we'll rotate and twist. Feeling that nice spine twist, stretch, and gently uncoil, and we'll go to the other side. Taking my left hand to the outside of my right thigh, my right hand goes behind me, and I twist and stretch, breathing. I like to exhale on my twist, and we'll go ahead and do it again. And opposite hand to the thigh, other hand behind you, and twist. Good, uncoil, and to the other side. And I like to exhale and create length as I twist. And untwist, good. So the next thing we'll go ahead and do is a hip and glute stretch. I'll take my left leg and cross it right above my right knee over the thigh. And I'm crossing it either the foot or the ankle. You can cross it the ankle or around the heel, whatever feels most comfortable to you. And just allow the hip and knee and ankle to externally rotate here. And you'll feel a stretch in both the glute and the hip. And you can stay seated upright or you can hinge forward into the stretch and you'll feel a bit of a deeper stretch here. Just breathing and relaxing into the stretch. Your arms can be wherever you like as long as you're relaxing here, trying not to hold any tension in the face or the shoulders. And then carefully come on up, take it down. We'll go to the other side, crossing my right ankle over my left thigh above my knee. And you might find one side's tighter than the other and you can just guide that knee open, thinking that it's externally rotating from the hip, because that's where that external rotation comes from. And I'm just gently pressing on my knee to help guide that rotation of the hip. And if you want, you can pitch your body forward gently and stretch. Remembering to breathe.
and coming up. We'll do that one more time each side. So here we go. Crossing that heel or ankle right over that thigh and reaching forward. And remember you have the option to always just sit upright. You don't have to lean forward if you don't want to, if this is enough of a stretch for you. Helping yourself on up and we'll finish with that other side for the hip and glute stretch. And guiding that open if it's tighter on one side than the other. You may have to give yourself additional guidance. And I gently press on my knee, remembering that my hip is trying to open up a little bit more. Good. And relaxing forward into your stretch. And carefully coming up out of that. The next thing we'll do is an inner thigh stretch. So I'm just going to separate my legs, opening up externally. I'm just going to either place my hands or my forearms, whatever feels comfortable to you, onto your thighs. And just feel your hands gently guiding your hips, knees, and ankles a little bit more open. You'll feel that stretch through the inner thighs. And you're in control of how much pressure you'd like to press open with. And then allow the knees to come forward a little bit. Hips and knees come forward. And exhale, open that back up again. See if you have a little bit more openness than you did before. And we open. Breathing, being careful not to hold any tension in the face, neck, or shoulders. Some of us have to constantly remind ourselves, I know I do. And carefully come up out of that. Beautiful. So the next thing we'll do is a hamstring stretch. There's so many ways to do this in the sauna. Today we're going to do a seated hamstring stretch. I'm going to go ahead and take one leg up here. And I'm turning to face my left leg. And I have it straight and extended. So if you'd like to just sit here, if this is enough of an extension for you, you can hold that. If you'd like to add a deeper stretch, we're just going to slide forward towards our leg. And just allow your head to rest towards your knee. Breathing in the stretch. And gently, carefully helping yourself on up and lengthening the spine out this time. Reaching the arms up to the sky, reach your spine long and out. Last time we did a round back, now I'm reaching my spine long and out. I'm careful of the wall in front of me. Stretching my spine, hinging over, and that way I feel a little bit of a deeper stretch high in my hamstring. And then release over, round over. And now I feel stretching. A little lower in that hamstring behind the knee, you might feel it there. And release, come on down, and we'll go to the other side. Moving on to the other side, let's go ahead and take our right leg up now. And we'll turn towards that leg, and the first thing we do is relaxing, rolling on forward. Just allowing yourself to hang, getting comfortable in the stretch. Again, you might notice that one side's a little tighter than the other. And just relax into the stretch until your head comes towards your knee or your shin, wherever it lies. Coming back to your front. Finishing with one more torso stretch. Get comfortable and even. Reach your arms up to the sky. Interlace those fingers and stretch as tall as you possibly can. And then reaching the heels of the hands out to the sides of the room. And down. And good job. I hope you feel a little bit more stretched out than when you came in. Have a great day, and thank you for coming to Perspire Sauna Studio.